Hi, uh, today I want to just look at the process of cutting and well, the three, the three main areas that we need to pay attention. Uh, the first one being personal protective equipment. So we'll just look at some of the things that we should have in place. We're also going to have a look at the clamping of the workpiece. This is one of the biggest causes for concern regarding um, the breakage of cut-off wheels in, in, in the workplace. And then thirdly, we'll have a look at the machine itself, things we need to look out for on the machine, uh, pay attention to, and also mm, the best way of using the machine to get the best from the products in a safe, efficient manner. Okay, so the minimum requirement for uh, cutting steel, we need to protect ourselves, first of all, the eyes, initially with safety glasses. In a more robust application, maybe we need the use of a face shield as well. Depending on the amount of dust that's being created in the workplace, there could also be the need for a, a dust mask or ventilation within the workplace. And, of course, gloves. Gloves, um, what we're cutting and uh, if we were grinding, the materials are getting hot, there's friction, sparks, and we need to protect our hands. And, of course, the last and final thing is the hearing protection. Because we create an, an amount of noise, then if the decibel level is above 85 decibels, then we do need to wear ear protection. If it's uncomfortable, wear ear protection. Okay, the second part, the second most important part, is actually securing the workpiece. Any movement allowed in the workpiece can cause a danger of a wheel breakage. So it's very important, even with thin materials, when we're cutting thin materials, we clamp near to where the area we want to cut. We don't want vibration in the material. This can cause unnecessary wear of the wheel. With a, a solid piece like this, we can clamp this into a vise so we have a very solid, stable working area. Okay, the third part that I want to just go through is the cutting itself and fitting the, the wheel to the machine. Now, I know with my own experience, sometimes it's very easy when, when you're cutting to be tempted to use the same wheel for grinding. This is very unsafe. Uh, the the cut-off wheels, they're not designed to take on the lateral loads of traditional six millimeter grinding discs, for example. This product here is a dual purpose disc. This can, is safe to cut and grind. It takes on a lateral load of 290 newtons, which is the same as a grinding disc. The first thing we need to do is check the speed rating of the disc. This is 12,200 RPM against that of the machine, which is 11,000 RPM. So it's safe to fit onto the machine. You'll note that whilst this is being fitted, the machine is unplugged. And that's so we don't have any false startups or we've got his hands close to the disc. So from there on, I can toggle up with my earplugs and uh, gloves. Okay, one more point to take into account is when we're cutting steel, what's happening to the offcut? We need to be mindful of what's happening because it needs to fall away. Working on a small edge like this, the, the waste material is very light and small. Let me turn the material round. On a heavier section like this, if we're cutting through the material, we want it to open up so the cut opens and it doesn't clamp against the disc. If we're in an awkward position and maybe the workpiece is higher up, it can be tempting to go from the bottom. This is very, very dangerous. If you cut from the bottom, this acts like a break against the disc and it will clamp the disc. So be mindful of what's happening to the waste offcut in the cutting process. To summarize, it's all about the three, three main points, one being the PPE that we wear to protect ourselves, eyes, ears, and protective clothing. The security of the workpiece itself, making sure there's no movement of the workpiece whilst we're in the cut. And of course, the machine itself. Um, the power of the machine has an effect. The guard we can place to pr protect ourselves and the actual way we use this, allowing the machine to do the work and not forcing this. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, thank you.